Hi, and welcome to another video of Old Timer Farm. Today, I want to talk to you about the Austin Haley family. So originally, the 104 was developed as a race car. It was actually developed for Le Mans. It comes in two models, the BN1 and the BN2. And they are both four-cylinder cars with 2,600 cc engines. Really big engines because it's a really small car. And the BN1 came with a three gearbox and the BN4 with a four gearbox. They are all equipped with drum brakes. And the gearbox is an evolution of a pre-war like gearbox. It's a really small car, two seater, and it's very fast. Back in the day, this was one of the fastest cars you could buy. Imagine, just after World War II, everybody was driving 30s cars because in the 40s in Europe, there was not so much of a production. And then you got this, 120 horsepower, twin carburetor, four cylinder car. Incredible torque, very low in weight because it's part in aluminium and um, it's just such a joy to drive. There's no comfort, there's no side windows, there's no um, deflectors, there's almost nothing. Most of the people use this without the roof because it's, it's not in the right place. It shouldn't be there, it takes space from the seats. So this car is completely restored. So in 55, they make the 106. It's a bigger engine car. That is, it's more cylinders. But the volume of the engine is the same, 2,600. Healy is leaving the idea of a Spartanic sports car. This becomes a luxury cabriolet. On paper, the power is the same, but it feels a bit more luxurious, a bit more sluggish. It's a big engine six cylinders, again, twin carburetors, SU of course, and it's made to travel, to enjoy, to have a fast car for the road. Braking is still with drums. So we have four drums, in the front, in the back, drums, which makes a big difference when we go to the next model. So after the 106, they launched the 3000, all new engine, bigger, 400 cc's more, and most of the problems that they had in the factory were solved. Cooling, electricity, um, poor finish. The 3000 MK1 was a really good car. Then they said, we're gonna make it more powerful again and we'll make the MK2, which instead of two carburets has three carburets. So rewind, 106, 2600cc, two carburetors, 3000 MK1, Bigger engine, two carburetors, MK2, three carburetors, like on the E-Type, horrible to maintain. So then they made the last one. And the first of the line is special one, and the last of the line. And this is the BG-8. In 64, the E-Type was there, and it was selling well. 265 horsepower, so Healy couldn't compete with them anymore. So they made the Cabriolet, 3000 more luxur luxurious and it was called 3000 MK3 phase 2 so-called BG8. What's the difference? Wooden dash, different gearbox, more modern, suspension is higher, it's more luxurious and the engine instead of a 3000 with three carburetors is now a 3000 with two bigger carburetors. 3000 cc, six cylinder engine with two big SU carburetors. Still, compared to the size of the engine and the usage that the people were doing from this car, the heating system was a problem. Small radiator, small mouth. And so most of these cars now have electric fans to solve that or aluminum radi radiators or better water pumps. Here we have three 3000s BG8. They're the top of the line. They're the most wanted. Not one of these three is in really superb condition. They're in good condition. For example, this one is unrestored, but it needs some work on the chassis. Thank you for your attention. 
If you're interested in selling your Healy, feel free to contact me, info at oldtimerfarm.be or you can call me on my mobile anytime. Thanks.